One very important information that we are getting is from the President General Nigeria, uh, the President General, that is, the Nigeria Union of Railway Workers. Uh, he has stated that it is more economical for the government to maintain the existing narrow gauge railway system and use that same uh, system to uh, convey materials than it will be used to uh, for construction of a, a standard gauge railway line than relying on general electric for the use of the tracks to convey construction materials. What do you think about that statement? Tell him to bring the money. If he brings the money, we'll use it to maintain the, the <laughs> narrow gauge. You see, I don't know what, what some of us, some Nigerians just get up and make some of these arguments we make. The first is that a man comes to you to say, we have abandoned these tracks for over how many years? In fact, the president, uh, uh, good Lord Jonathan's government, tried to rehabilitate the track, and, uh, and I'm not, I don't want to assess it. I don't want to state uh, here before Nigerians accuse me of blaming the government. We should focus on our own development. But it was not. It was not. It was not. If the areas that we were even repaired were not uh, rehabilitated, were not done to the standard that you could even do anything. Now, before the end of the year, we're bringing about 20 locomotives to begin to run on the current tracks of the narrow gauge. And the GE will try and rehabilitate it. The highest speed that the narrow gauge can run is between 80 and 90. Now, well, for the standard gauge, you have speed trains. The speed train, the current one we're building is between 150 and 200 kilometers per hour. Is it asking us not to, be, not to modernize? Is he saying that Nigeria should remain like the ancient countries? Most countries are rebuilding and building the standard gauge that will take you on a speed of about 150, 200. In fact, if you go to China, they do 350 per hour, which means if you're heading to... Uh, Abuja from Lagos, you should do it in three to four hours. Is he saying that we should continue to do 80 kilometers that brings us to Kano for you know, two days? <laughs> That's not development. So what development is, okay, fine, they build what is currently being built all over the world, which is the standard gauge. But even at that, we were saying that in our, com in our conversation with GE, GE has promised to bring in their own resources, rebuild the narrow gauge, put it into use, run it, make it profitable and ensure that cargoes, freight, what is critical is the movement of, of freight on the uh, Lagos uh, Kano uh, narrow gauge and the Potakot uh, Mediguri narrow gauge. Mm -hmm. And we're happy about that. I don't know why in Nigeria will not be happy that we are rebuilding the same old narrow gauge, which will be done by another, another party, and we save our money to build new standard gauge. Oh, okay, let's talk about the, the workers here. That will be the railway workers under your jurisdiction. Labor unions argue that it will not make any economic sense if General Electric, for instance, imports the 20 locomotive engines and 100 wagons, as you have announced, when the staff who are expected to manage the facilities are not well remunerated. What's your response to that? <laughs> well, um, we're, oh, we're, we, we, we disc we're discussing with the with the workers, we are saying to them, those who work with GE, we will pay the salary that, which, the, 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 what is the standard practice in the industry globally, GE will pay them. For the federal government, before you got engaged, you know the federal government salary structure. Whatever we need to review, we'll review it. We're in conversation with the workers union. So what are we doing in terms of developing light rails in cities? <sighs> big question. You know why it's a big question? You, you, you want to leapfrog, I agree, but we can't do all the things at the same time, one at a time. Let us first re rehabilitate the narrow gauge. Let us also build the standard gauge before we begin to talk about uh, uh, this uh, intracity rail. Yeah. And even at that, intracity rail, we are leaving to the state government uh, or private investors who may want to invest in viable cities. Like currently, Lagos is building an intracity rail. Uh, I tried that in Port Harcourt. The, the uh, monorail. So, and I hear Kano is trying to do intracity rail. I hear Abeku, uh, Ogun State is also trying to do intracity rail. But we cannot, as a federal government, do everything at the same time. We have to take one at a time. Just and what we're doing is just being strategic to ensure that we build the ones that can grow the economy and create wealth. So, w what happens to uh, state governments, for instance, who want to develop light rail transportation network in their states? Can they go ahead with that? We support. Yeah, of course, we support them. Well, I thought I told you here now that uh, Kano is about doing one. 
Lagos is currently building one. Potak when I was governor, I tried to develop the monorail. I got the franchise. And then uh, Ogun State gov government is also trying to do one. So any state government that has the capacity to build will support and give you the franchise. But you also had a rail, uh, a light rail uh, yeah, transportation uh, development in your state, in River State. What has happened to that one? <laughs> I'm not the governor of River State. I when when said, you were governor, it, start, it actually kicked off when you were governor. That's why I said I'm not the governor of River State. Now. I, thought, I thought you were addressing the Minister of Transportation. That question should be posed to the governor of River State. Okay, l let's put that aside just so we don't c uh, create too much controversy. What is being done to attract this kind of investors? We need them to come. GE, for instance, you said is coming into Nigeria to focus on the, uh, uh, the single gauge that we have and try to develop that. What other steps are we taking to be able to attract that needed uh, infrastructure support and financial support, bring in those investors to be part of developing the whole networks? The the, the GE investment is, is uh, exciting the, the world and it's exciting us uh, Nigerians who are in government because first it's, it's, it's confidence building in our economy. It means that our economy is viable. Even though GE won't want to waste their resources, they're not, they're, they're not for the Christmas to waste money to come and invest in Nigeria on the, on the narrow gauge. What they have done is to create uh, uh, credibility for the economy of Nigeria. And uh, it is good that they're bringing in their resources to rebuild the narrow gauge. It have forced you the opportunity to be able to move a lot of those freight that are currently being run or are running on our roads and destroying, destroying the roads. Now they are moving those, uh, which has soon moved those uh, freight or cargo to the rail because the, the rail will be able to carry such cargoes to, to the, the, their different destinations. Imagine where we need to move the coaches and the locomotive that we bought for Kano Kaduna. It took us nearly 14 days, two weeks. But if, there were, if the if the railways, uh, rail lines were working, the same day you arrive, you will arrive uh, uh, Abuja to 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 fix or install them for the for the Kaduna can, uh, Abuja oh, rail line. I'm afraid. Now imagine I'm, how, I'm, how I'm what afraid you we're going to have to leave it at that. I do sincerely apologise that we're going to have to stop at that point, and thank you so much indeed for your thoughts, the Honourable uh, Minister for Transportation in Nigeria, Mr. Rutumi Amechi talking to us on State of the Nation.